Good morning, Woodland. Good morning. Come on in on this uh, very wintry Sunday morning here in November. Um, we've got quite the the list of announcements. Um, Brad, I think we all know where Brad's at this morning. Um, so he's left me with a pile of announcements. So I'm going to get us going. This is our Thanksgiving service. Um, and we're going to be putting the giving in Thanksgiving this morning as I share with you uh, different giving opportunities that we have here at Woodland. First off, I'd just like to remind uh, the congregation that um, to give here at Woodland, there's three, three ways you can give here at Woodland. You can set up uh, through your bank an automatic transfer. Um, you can go online to our church website and give through there, or you can uh, fill out a um, envelope in the back and drop it in the black box in the back, back of the sanctuary. Um, we have some other giving opportunities. The Super Seniors are continuing to facilitate their gifts of warmth, so if you have any extra hats and gloves, socks for kids and adults, you can drop them off at the boxes in the, the welcome area. The angel tree uh, giving uh, is continuing, but all the trees have been claimed. And so if you have claimed a tree, just a reminder that those gifts um, are due back wrapped by uh, December 11th. And last of all, for our giving opportunities, um, at the end of the year, around Christmas time, we like to put together a little extra gift for our missionaries that we support as a church. And so if, as you're finding your seats... Uh, you may have found, saw a little envelope on the chairs next to you. Uh, this is uh, an envelope um, designated to give to um, our missionary families. And so uh, all that's raised will go to our missions team, and they will distribute um, the, the gifts this season to the different missionaries to give them a little extra encouragement during the Christmas season. Uh, this week, if you would like to help the church get into the Advent season... You can uh, come to the church on Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock and help decorate, uh, get the Christmas trees up, put the lights out, um, and get the, get the church looking like it's ready for the Christmas season. So we'd love, uh, appreciate any help that we can get for that. And one last announcement. Next week, November 27th, is the due date for the Mexico missions trip applications. And so if you've been talking as a family about that trip and whether you want to be involved in that and uh, put an application in, uh, that the due date is next Sunday. And so that gives you one more week to think it through. The applications and uh, the trip member um, packet that you can look through kind of the stuff that we're going to be going through in our trainings and the different stuff that we're be, we'll be preparing for. You can grab that at the table in the back. And so um, do, do pray about that opportunity. Um, pray with your high school students, if you've got some in um, your home, about whether that opportunity is right for you this, this coming summer. So, all right, I think that covers all of our announcements. I'm going to hand it over. Tim, would you lead us in our first song? Thank you. Good job, Michael. All right, good morning. Welcome again to you, everyone. On to uh, open, open our morning's worship time with... A short selection from Psalm 66, because Pastor Brian will care for that in greater detail later, which I'm looking forward to quite a bit. But uh, the, uh, it starts off, to the choir master, a song, a psalm. So we are the choir this morning, so you guys ready for this? Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name, Selah. So let's do that together this morning. If you can, let's stand, let's stand to our feet. Worship a God together. Light of the world, here we go, let's sing. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. So here I am.
We'd like to pray for our missionaries as they have different needs that come up in their ministry. Uh, this morning, we are remembering Jana Forseth. She's a missionary in Poland. Um, this week, she'll be traveling home for a couple months, it sounds like, for Thanksgiving, the Christmas season. Um, but she also wants us to be praying for this weekend. She is pulling together, um, a filming some kind of hand production of The Christmas Story that uh, she's doing with some some youth in her community, in her church. And so this week they're going to be doing the filming, and as she comes home, she's going to be putting that video together and getting prepared for the Christmas season. And so she's asking that uh, that it would all get pulled together in time before she has to come home, and then, um, then that, that production would be able to have an impact in her community. What a, what a cool, uh, creative way of, of sharing the Christmas story. Um, we also are remembering Pat Huber. She's going to be having a hip procedure tomorrow morning, so if uh, you could remember her in your prayers. And then we are um, praising God that John Heiser's sister, Shirley, she is home. She had been in the hospital this week, but she's home and doing well. And so let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Father, we thank you for being a God who sees all things, knows all things, and is, is working through all things. Lord, um, through different uh, places in the world, uh, your church is at work. It's growing. Your uh, kingdom is advancing, and people are coming to know you both locally and abroad, Lord. And so we pray uh, that you'd be with all our missionaries this Christmas season as we pray for that, that gift that we uh, would love to bless them with, Lord. And we uh, particularly think of um, Jana. Ask that uh, the production of this video would, would come together in time, Lord, that as she pulls these, these clips together and produces this video, that uh, she would be blessed through it, and then um, the, her work in this would be a blessing and a, a kingdom-advancing um, endeavor that she is undertaking with her church, Lord. And so we pray that you would bless that project. We pray that you would uh, protect her as she travels home and that you would bless her time in the States, Lord. Um, just uh, be with her this Christmas season. May this be an encouragement to her so as uh, she returns back that she would be energized and ready to serve you in and, and the many ways that you have her serving, Lord. Um, we also want to pray for Pat that you would give her uh, just great a great blessing and, and um, favor as she goes in for this operation, Lord, that she would recover quickly and that she'd be back with us um, uh, maybe even um, this week sometime. Lord, we thank you for being with Shirley um, and, and bringing her home. Lord, we ask that you continue to strengthen her body and, and wrap her with your love and your comfort and your presence as she returns and recovers from, from this, um, this time that she had in, in the hospital. Lord, we thank you for this, um, this season that we're going into. 
May our hearts be full of knowledge of knowing that you um, are so generous and so gracious to us, Lord, and that we have so much to be thankful for as we find ourselves in your love, in your presence and blessing. And so, Lord, this week, um, we just ask that you would uh, draw our hearts to yourself and, and that we would be filled with the, the warmth of your spirit uh, and, and the presence of, of, of your love in our lives. And so, ask that you would speak to us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Our on top of this morning, no great surprise, I'm sure, is is gratefulness. Looking ahead to this this Thanksgiving holiday, this time we have, so we have so much to be th- thankful for, to grateful for the what the Lord has done for us, what He's done in us, what He is doing around us. Um, and so with with those those thoughts in mind, let's continue to worship together with with gratefulness for to our God and and for our God. So let's stand together. Not wait for me, draw near to you, but you clothed yourself with frail humanity. Did not wait for me, cry out to 